What's up keepers and welcome back to another episode of ARS Goalkeeper. I'm Alberto and today we're going to be taking a look at the full infield review of the special hybrid Adidas Predator Pros that were made popular by Ter Stegen on Barcelona. These new models have an added feature of an removable wrist strap that if you watch my first impression videos on the Adidas 302 pack, you know I didn't really see the benefit or need for this removable strap feature, but here we are. So let's dive right into this review. The Adidas Predator Pro Hybrid comes in a negative style cut, with rolled latex going across and covering the fingertips. Although the tips of the glove seem to be in a negative style, it looks like the stitching on the lower part of the fingers is a wider flat style cut with cloth gussets. The backhand is made up of a flexible knit-like fabric with silicone reinforcements across the knuckles for support and a thicker punching platform. The palm on these Predators comes in a URG 2.0 latex, which if you watch my comparison video with the 1.0, I think the 2.0 latex is much better for long term uses and for the average keeper. Not to mention that it's still really freaking tacky and its performance is easily on par with contact level latex. And this detachable wrist strap which is an interesting feature at face value is probably more of a hindrance than anything. Since one of my favorite features on the top Adidas glove lines is the elastic bandage style strap and honestly this fad of super thin ski gloves is really tiring. I hope it runs out soon because I do love a good strap and at least a little body on the gloves for stopping power. So I opted to use the straps as much as possible, especially because when I did detach the wrist strap, the wristband area slid around and bubbled up way too much for my liking. I don't know which keepers like their fit like this, but I'm assuming they also pour water into their cereal bowls. That being said, I went in a size 9.5 with my Hybrid Pros, and I actually think I would have been fine with a size 9. The stitching style of the fingers make it a very tight fitting cut, but not too much like you feel on the Nike Vapor Grip 3s. And when it came down to it, I did seriously enjoy the fit and feel of this hybrid cut. It feels very close to the hand and exceptionally good at manipulating the ball for fingertip saves and proper holds. I can see why Ter Stegen loves this cut so much. It gets a ton of latex on important pressure points for ball control. But I am seriously adamant about my disdain for this detachable wrist strap. It just doesn't do anything but become a weakness on the glove even when the straps are on. I feel like I have to re-strap it often, especially if the gloves slide up against the ground. If there's one thing Adidas didn't ever need to change or fix, it was their wrist strap. And with all that being said, I still was able to make a ton of great holds and saves in these puppies. The URG 2.0 Latex is a top quality palm foam that makes holding on to balls in any weather or field a simple task. And this hybrid cut does it even better by rolling that latex across the fingertips for more possible ball to latex contact at any point of a hold or save. Performance wise there was not one hiccup except for maybe having to restrap the gloves often and having to put them back in that velcro area. These are still the top of the line predators that I love to make saves in, and that is definitely a great feeling after such a disappointment with the detachable wrist strap. The cut and latex on the hybrid pros more than make up for the loss of confidence in the wrist area and the saves can definitely attest and back it up. So let's take a look at our gloves after about a month's worth of training on mostly grass fields under this dry German sun. And I will say I have been extremely impressed by the URG 2.0 latex. Not only has it been super tacky in every session, only losing a little bit of its grip over a few sessions, the durability is pretty freaking good considering the level of this grip. Obviously the biggest tears will find on the rolled fingertips as the tension is much higher in that area but the gloves look in good shape short of fraying on the tips and the slight tears in the palm. With proper glove care and diving technique, I can easily see these predators lasting a full season. And for the price of about 125 US dollars or 100 British pounds, the Predator Hybrid Pros come with all of the best features except for a poorly made wrist area. And if you don't mind that, they are amazing gloves. If you by chance can get a version without the detachable wrist strap, I would highly recommend that pair. But I might think twice about getting another detachable strap goalkeeper glove. So that's it for the video guys, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to join our discord and be part of the largest goalkeeper community, plus get chances to win giveaways and talk with me. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment down below. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys again very soon.